and Professor Bold in particular, do you think that this messy nature of how we do government in the United Kingdom has actually hampered our efforts to combat coronavirus here in the UK? I think so, absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't say that, the, that it's the main reason. I mean, let's be frank, I, I should have said this at the beginning, we, are, we have done appallingly badly. In terms of international comparisons, we are, you know, our terms of excess mortality, um, I think Spain is the only country in Europe that's slightly ahead of us. Uh, we have not handled this pandemic well, any part of the UK. But I think, yes, the messiness of our, I'm, I'm not a pol uh, political science expert. I'm not an expert in intergovernmental workings or the sections of that. But I think it has been very confusing. And I also think it's been confusing for the public what the processes are and the guidance has diverged. Um, I do think Germany is an interesting example, though, and we can come back to that. I wouldn't entirely agree with your colleague there system is also very complex and the authority that the lender have have um, and also within that the smaller communities where their public health system and public health autonomy is quite strong actually I think in some ways have been part of their success but yes certainly the different structures we have are not straightforward and they might 